You guys ready for winter? I'm not. I am really, 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 really not looking forward to the cold. I don't like the cold. It got to 50, de 50 degrees was our high a couple days ago and it was just, it was miserable. I didn't even wanna get outside of the house. Just just put my sweatshirt on and, 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 and just sit underneath the heater. I don't like the cold, which 50 degrees to a lot of people up there in the Northern states, oh, that's nothing. They, that doesn't bother them. But uh, I grew up in Michigan, don't like the cold. And now that I'm adjusted to the heat down here in the South, I enjoy the heat. And I'm just really not looking forward to this winter. Puffy. You guys ever seen one of these little mag shim sets? This is something by Fast Cap, where you just slide the shim over and each shim is a specified height. So you could use this to dial in the height of your table saw blade or router bit. And this is pretty handy and it's all magnetic. And Derek Cadmus sent me this. So appreciate it, Derek. That's awfully nice of you. And it's really cool because it's magnetic. So I won't lose it. It sticks to the table saw fence. So appreciate that, Derek. That's pretty cool. So Saturday, I was one of like six guests on the Maritime Woodworker Show, a new woodworking show on YouTube or Google Plus, whatever they call it. I think it's on YouTube too. Um, anyway, uh, it was a fun little get together, I guess. And we talked about push sticks. So if you missed that and want to know more about this push stick, which is the one I use, it's just a little cheap two by four and all kinds of awesome reasons why I use it. I'll put a link in the description below on uh, actual video I have for this. So the reasoning why I prefer this over pretty much every other push stick that I've used. The window corners video I just made was a success. I hate curtains. I cannot stand curtains. Curtains are just in the way. They collect dust more so than anything else it seems like. And I don't like them. I don't like curtains. I don't like curtains. I don't like curtains. They block out natural light in a house that doesn't really have that much natural light. I absolutely love as much natural light as I can get in the house. So our compromise was, me and my wife was to, I would make something uh, for the, the window cornice, obviously. And if she liked it, we can go that route instead of curtains. And she actually liked it. So it's a win in my book. I don't have to put up any curtains, but it's kind of... It's a win, but I don't know if it's how big of a win because now I have to make 12 more of those and I don't have any time to make 12 more. So I'm going to be making them here and there as I go and going forward with all of them, I'm gonna put them on a French cleat system so they're easier to remove and paint around and all that good stuff. I never thought of that when I made that first one. Oddly enough, I never thought of it, but a lot of people have suggested it in the YouTube comments, which is very cool. and. Duh, it makes total sense. So that's what I'm gonna do going forward. I should have done that one, but oh well, it's just two screws. Well, I've got a new dust collector. It is a Grizzly one and a half horsepower unit and it works really, really well. It's, it, it, the manufacturer's rating at one and a half horsepower. The Harbor Freight unit rating is two horsepower. Um, but obviously there's a lot more things that go into it as far as how the performance, you know, the, the aerodynamics and the impeller size and all that stuff. But this Grizzly unit, holy cow, it's got a lot more suction, even with the canister filter than the Harbor Freight unit did with it exhausting outside. Now, that being said, I would have been perfectly happy keeping the Harbor Freight unit if I was able to exhaust outside. So I'm not going to knock that unit at all. It's perfectly capable for what I have here. Uh, what I got is a little bit overkill, but I'm perfectly okay with that. If you watch the window cornice video, you'll know that I got a new miter saw. It's the 12 inch rigid compound miter saw that they have. And I don't know if it's the top of the line or close to it or whatever, but the saw that it replaced is a 10 inch cobalt sliding miter saw. That's got a little bit of a bunch of little problems and nuances with it. So to compare it to this newer saw that is kind of like someone's top of the line, it's kind of like apples to oranges, a saw that's not, not even manufactured versus a saw that is way bigger. So uh, they both cut wood just fine, but it seems like this rigid has a lot of the, the little minor areas worked out, which uh, hopefully it's the last saw, miter saw that I'll have to use. So it's just a saw. I've got one of these little lists to go by because I can't remember crap anymore. So throughout the week, I'll write it down and I can read my own writing. So that's better than not being able to remember. But next up is my rocking chairs. Did I purchase those or did I make those? No, I purchased those from somebody who made them locally. They are a nice oak set of rocking chairs. They're unfinished. I need to put some sand them down and then put some stain 
or some boiled linseed oil on them or something and seal them up nice and good. And I need to get that done before winter, but it's probably not going to happen before winter because I've got so much other crap going on. So uh, I did not purchase, I did not make them, I purchased them mainly because I don't have enough time. I really, really, really like to make a set of rocking chairs with my whole uh, 2x4 chair slash bench, bench frame and put them maybe on the back porch. But that's not going to be until next summer sometime, even if I get around to making it. I've got a lot of other stuff to do. So, uh, upcoming projects, I have the doghouse, computer desk, miter saw station, bunk bed, and cooler box. The doghouse is done. It's in the backyard. The dogs love it. I love it. It looks really good, and I'm very happy that I made it. Uh, it's, it's, it's a win-win-win kind of a project. It looks good. It serves a purpose. It was fun to make, and I think, uh, I think some people out there on the internet will enjoy it. So. Uh, win 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 project next is the computer desk that I'm probably gonna make next week uh, mainly because in the past two years I've gained 45 pounds and my activity level has really gone down because I spend so much time sitting behind the damn computer so we've have it we have a treadmill and I'm wanting to make a stand-up computer desk to go over the treadmill uh, my wife is the only one who uses the treadmill and she's also the only one in the house that's in shape so I'm going to put my main computer on the, com on the treadmill basically and bugs in November go away. And uh, if I need to use the computer, then my butt's gonna have to walk. If not walk, at least stand, which should be a whole lot healthier than me sitting and editing and surfing the net for hours and hours and hours. So that's going to be a <laughs> something I'm really actually not looking forward to doing, but I'm gonna do. Miter saw station, I have an initial design in SketchUp, but I haven't quite worked it out. I've got a lot of little things that are bugging me about the design and, and some stuff that I really, really, really like about it, but uh, I still need to refine that design and that's probably going to be in the next couple weeks. The bunk bed is whenever. And a cooler box. In the middle of winter, I'm going to have to make a cooler box. I told somebody that I was going to make one for them, personally. And I forgot all about it, and they need it for a Christmas gift. So I'm going to have to make one, and it's kind of going to be funny because I'm not going to release the video until springtime sometime because it's just out of seasonal to make a cooler box in the winter. But I'm going to be all, you know, in my winter gear because it's going to be cold here in the shop, which is going to kind of be funny in the middle of summer if I release the video that time, me in a sweatshirt and whatnot. But anyway, it's just bad timing for the project, but I'm still going to do it and still going to record it. And... Trying to think of a way to make it unique. There's a lot of cooler boxes out there on the internet and a lot of really, really, really nice ones. Have you guys seen, I'll put a link down below, Beach Bum Livin's uh, cooler box that he made. It's it's very cool. I love the way he made the, the textured outside surface uh, just with the jigsaw. But I'll put, put a link to it in the description below. I gotta figure out a way to make mine unique. I doubt I will. It's probably just gonna be a generic cooler box, non-rustic cooler box. But other than that, it's cold and I want to go inside, but I've got so much crap to do out here. So I'm going to get moving around and warm up and I'll talk to you guys next week.